very disappointing. They're home tonight to take on the Knicks. A quick turnaround, and we'll see how the team responds after their head coach, Rick Carlisle, calls them soft last night after the game. Well, joining us now on the Ticket Hotline to discuss that and the Mavericks situation is all-star forward Dirk Nowitzki. Morning, Dirk. Guten Tag. How are you? I am doing well. Guten Tag, Giorgio. Yes, guten Tag. Yes, Dirk. Uh Well, that was a tough loss last night in New Orleans, wasn't it? I understand that our coach is taking us to task. (laughs) Yes, he called you all soft after the game last night. There is some truth to this, I believe. We are softer than a baby's bottom that has been marinated in Bavarian beer. (laughs) He didn't go that far. We are softer than the teats of Eva Braun. Oh, my God. (laughs) At least some of us. The softest player that we have on this team is the Frenchman. Roddy (laughs) Bobois? The French are always soft. C-1940. Oh, All right. Stop making those references. That's ridiculous. They cowered in their homes at the side of our basketball might. <laughs> I don't think it was basketball. But who are you going to say is tough on this team other than me, J.J. Barea? <laughs> give me some of your breaks. <laughs> I think in this country we say, give me a break. I understand why people on the outside think we are soft. We have a short Mexican, a tall, skinny German, a Frenchman, and an old whatever Jason Kidd is. <laughs> what is he, by the way? Uh, well, uh, his skin is not, is not like a traditional American black. <laughs> God damn, it looks cut with something. Well, well, why what, don't what does you it matter? Why don't you ask him? He's your teammate. He also has green lizard eyes. <laughs> yeah, that well. put me into a state that I cannot understand. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have a problem with Rick Carlisle calling you guys soft, huh? Well, even though he spoke the truth, I would break Rick Carlisle. Oh. <laughs> I would goose. I would go step into his office and give him the Poland treatment. Oh my gosh! Yes, yeah, you hear me now. This turned into a Hans and Franz bit. <laughs> you would think that I would have at least a little sympathy for Rick Carlisle, seeing as how he is now a skinhead. But All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, his hair is a little short. <laughs> he just has a crew cut, I think. I think he's gone skinhead. So do you have big plans for uh, the postseason this year? I do, George. What you got in mind? <laughs> I will exit. We will exit the playoffs after four games, and then I'll call Steve Nash and hit Bavaria with a backpack. Good <laughs> <laughs> the Zane. Oh, Zane. There he goes. There's Dirk with us here on the Dunham and Miller Show. 